celebrate the marriage of Emma and Simon. Because this is not just a wedding, it's not just a service, it's a celebration. And we all welcome the opportunity to share in this day with you as you come to commit your lives to one another in our presence as your witnesses, but more importantly, in the presence of God. The Bible reading is a very ancient Bible reading it's from the Old Testament, written thousands of years ago, but the words still hold true today. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? The one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts of life, love and companionship. And on this joyous day, we specially thank you for Emma and Simon and the love that they share. As we come together to celebrate their union and marriage now, we ask for your blessing on this special day and on this lovely couple. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are gathered here in the presence of God and before each other to give thanks for the gift of marriage and to witness together the joining of Emma and Simon, and to ask for God's blessing on them, that they may be strengthened in their love together. Marriage is a covenant between a man and woman, instituted by God and commended in the Bible, is honourable to all who enter into it lawfully and in true affection. It was confirmed in Christ's teaching and by his presence at the marriage feast in Cana of Galilee. It was used by the Bible's writers as a picture of the unbreakable union between Christ and his church. Marriage is therefore not to be undertaken lightly or ill-advisedly, but seriously and duly considering the purposes for which it is designed. We are God's creation and it is his design that husband and wife may give to each other lifelong companionship, help and comfort both in prosperity and in adversity. It is within the commitment of marriage that God chooses to sanctify and direct our natural instincts that he created, that children may be born and brought up in families in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the glory of God. And it is by honouring marriage in this way that human society itself may stand on solid foundations. And it is into this unique covenant that Emma and Simon have come now to be joined. Therefore, if anyone can show any good reason why Emma and Simon may not be joined together, let them now declare it or forever hold their peace. May not. Yes. <laughs> Is anyone there? <laughs> well, I think you're safe. There's nobody <laughs> shouting or beating that door down. However, this bit now is your last chance to get out of it. Because I've got to say to you both, <laughs> I require and charge you both as in the sight of God, that if either of you know of any impediment, while you may not be lawfully joined together in marriage, you do now confess it. Are you sure? So you want me to go on? <laughs> okay, well, Simon, you're going to repeat after me, okay? Now, Simon, I must just check on one thing just before I go into the bigger bit. I've got you down as Simon John. Yeah, is it? But is Jonathan it, or John? I use both. Yeah, but Jonathan's your name on your birth certificate. Jonathan's on the birth Just for the that legal bit, I'll use the Jonathan. That's fine. okay. That was just. I was checking. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Just repeat. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Simon Jonathan Edwards. Why I, Simon Jonathan Edwards. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Emma Louise Wheeler. To Emma Louise Wheeler. Thank you. It's your turn now, Emma. Okay, just repeat after me, okay? I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Emma Louise Wheeler. Why I, Emma Louise Wheeler. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Simon Jonathan Edwards. To Simon Jonathan Edwards. Perfect, lovely, thank you. Now Simon, I'm going to say some words to you now. And when I nod my head, just reply back, I will. Okay? 
Simon, will you have Emma to be your wife, to live together according to God's design in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and cherish her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Nice. I've said some words on nod my head. Just reply back, I will. Okay? Emma, will you have Simon to be your husband, to live together according to God's design in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and care for him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. That's a lovely thank you. And we just now turn in to face each other and hold hands, please. And if you just repeat after me, please, Simon. Uh, you either, either, yeah, both a bit hands. dyslexic. Yeah. Oh, well, no, both hands actually you do, it's, it's quite nice if you do that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Just repeat after me, please, Simon. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Simon Jonathan Edwards. To witness that I, Simon Jonathan Edwards. Do take the Emma Louise Wheeler. To take the Emma Louise Wheeler. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, respect and honour. To love, respect and honour. Until death separates us. Until death separates us. According to God's design. According to God's design. And to this I give you my most solemn promise. And to this I give you my most solemn promise. Lovely, thank you. May your turn now. Just repeat after me, please. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Emma Louise Wheeler. To witness that I, Emma Louise Wheeler. Do take thee, Simon Jonathan Edwards. Do take thee, Simon Jonathan Edwards. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, honour and respect. To love, honour and respect. Until death separates us. Until death separates us. According to God's design. According to God's design. And to this I give you my most solemn promise. And to give you I give my most solemn promise. I'm going to bless the rings now, which you're going to wear for the rest of your lives as symbols of the love you have for one another and a reminder of the promises you made here today. Heavenly Father, bless these rings. Let the be to Emma and Simon symbols of the love they have for one another and a reminder of the vow and covenant they have made this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Simon. You could take Emma's ring and place it on her left hand fourth finger and then just hold it there. You could repeat after me, please. Emma, I give you this ring. Emma, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. And all that I am, I give to you. And all that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Take Simon's ring, place on his left hand, fourth finger, and then just hold him there. Just repeat after me, please. Simon, I give you this ring. Son, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. And all that I am, I give to you. And all that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Let these rings be a reminder. Let these rings be a reminder. Of our mutual promises. Of our mutual promises. In the name of God. In the name of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father. Son. Son and Holy Spirit. Spirit. Okay. <laughs> You're all right. There we are. That's perfect there. Now... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is that for me or you? <laughs> oh, we we go through lots of tissues, don't oh. we? <laughs> I just think of four weddings and a funeral, and it has spigots and spirits and. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's, 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 it's more often the groom than, than the bride. <laughs> yes, 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 it was. You don't have makeup to worry about. Right? No, you don't. No, no, no this no, is a force of free. Now, if you could, Simon, put your left hand on there, please, and on top of Simon's left hand, your left hand, please, and I should do that. We witness Simon and Emma agreeing together to live as man and wife, making their promises in the presence of God. They have declared their love by the giving and receiving of rings and by the joining of hands. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. And I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord look down upon you and give you peace. May the Lord turn his face to you and be gracious to you. Amen. Well, it gives me great pleasure to present Mr. and Mrs. Edwards Wheeler. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Thanks, guys. Lovely. Thank you. All the very, very best. Now, before we do the signing, I'll just explain a little bit about the anvil and, and the significance of that. As I said earlier, it goes back to the 1700s. When in England and Scotland, there was a difference between the marriage act. In Scotland, once you reach the age of 16, you get married without your parents' permission. In England, you had to wait till you're 21 before you could get married uh, without parents' permission. So therefore, in England, if a couple had fallen in love and they were under 21 and over 16, no one wanted to get married, but the parents said no for whatever reason, mm -hmm. they could escape over the border and come here with runaway brides. And here they would come to the blacksmiths because in those days, if you had a trade or a profession, it allowed you to conduct a marriage ceremony. You didn't have to go to the registry office and collect the schedule or nothing like that. <laughs> and the blacksmith would marry them and then he would strike the anvil to declare to the whole community that another couple enjoyed together in matrimony. So I'm going to strike the anvil for you. So if you just step back slightly. <laughs> and I'll pronounce you husband and wife. There we are. Had the Gretna experience. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's been beautiful. Thank you all of you. That's just superb. Thank you. Now, 